Walker, shot clock at six. Inside, offensive foul. Walker with his fourth. That's a tough break from Spark. Edie. Cooper inside. Ball knocked free. Hall with the takeaway. Walker in transition to Holloman. Uh, Lee Hall being guarded by Foster Lawyer. Zach Eady in help position. Drops it to Cooper with the stop. Really good adjustment that time. Cooper made himself available. Now look at Zach Eady in the middle of the floor. He just left Cooper to try to help. Cooper makes himself available. That's really wanting us to be involved in the game. A game that is now tied at 56. In spite of foul trouble, in spite of Zach Eady's dominance in the first half, Michigan State Spartans, this is a program victory if they can snatch this one away from Purdue. Warrior, just a minute ago laying on top of us, now laying down a three. But he needs to shoot this basketball. Back it goes. Booker for three. In and out. The rebound tracked down by Gillis. Two defenders did Zach Eady that time. There's Hogarth. Spins inside, blocking foul. And I mean, that thing was halfway down. It's a heck of a call from a Hall of Fame coach. Four guards and a forward on the floor for the Spartans trying to pressure Purdue here in a three-point game and a timeout. And, and most of the people in America remember that instead of the work that they've done all season long. Lance Jones fouled on the inbound. He's a 76% shooter. He's three for three on the game, but in this half, three for eight, and they missed two front ends. And I think that, again, when you see teams that are generally pretty good from the free throw line struggle down the stretch, it's an indication of physicality and fatigue. Lance Jones, a veteran. These vets understand this free money. Well, it's been physical. And there is fatigue. I mean, anytime the broadcasters are involved in the physical play, you know it's been physical. And I'm, I'm going to echo what Rick Pizzo said. Fantastic first day, first game of the day. Two possession game now. 26.4 and counting. Hogard hands off to Hall. Malik Hall gets inside for the two hand flush. And Tom Izzo will use his final timeout in a two point game. You know, you'll see the bobble here with Malik Hall when he gets the basketball initially. But then he's able to corral it, finish, and they got Royal inbound. Lob into Edie and Carr jumping on the back of Zach Edie. Edie at the line. 7 of 12 today, and he hits the first. What a big one this one is. Yeah, and he took a little bit extra time there before the release. Two for two. Four-point game again. Time winding down. Hogard, no timeouts for Michigan State. Here's Walker. Contested three. Caught underneath by Hall, who goes down. He's holding his left ankle. And a foul is called on Hogard. They've got to survive this one first. And it's still a four-point game. That's why you try to extend the... That's right. Lawyer inbound to Gillis, fouled immediately. An 85% shooter will go to the line for the first time today. Well, if you want somebody that's going to be strong with the basketball, that's about as strong as you can get in the Big Ten. <laughs> Mason Gillis is so well put together. Good job meeting the pass and being strong. 3.9 seconds to go in this one. What a battle it has been. And again, a two-possession game. Five-point game. 67-62. Hogard with two seconds. Hogard with one second. The layup. Will it count? It will. But Purdue has enough to survive. 67-64.